여러분 <웃음> 너무 보고, 보고 싶었어요 <웃음> Are there any international fans out there tonight? <웃음> shit, shit. <웃음> ハリーピーチワンハリーウォーハリーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウォーハリーウ
like that in real life. Right. So yeah. I don't want to fake it it's fine. just to be on TV. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Imagine yeah, how I'm I feel. I'm going to keep it a book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, keep it real, man. <laughs> yeah. That's why Yenning is, so yeah, yeah. yeah. is so hard. Yenning is so hard. Yenning is so hard, man. Like It is. And I do actually talk a lot on the show. But I think the, you have to say certain things that, that the TV editors yeah, really that like. Make it. Yeah. That make it. They want the something cut. like spicy. Spicy. Mm. They want drama. Yeah. Yeah. Like for example, I could be saying I do say like, oh that group was so good, they're very talented, whatever. But other person that kept quiet for the for ten minutes and he just says one thing. He's like, I think they're gonna debut soon. They're like best of the group, and then that makes the cut because it's extreme. They're like, mm. yeah. I I have never seen this many talented people in one group, mm. and then that makes the cut. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm like passionately saying like, yo, they they got some skills. Like they these are really like talented people. I never get the, I never make it. So what is the biggest learning lesson through this? I have to be extreme when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> Just say the most provocative things. No. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Watch me. <laughs> Watch me get canceled next episode. That is unlike you. Yeah. You just gotta be yourself. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They say stuff that doesn't even like matter. <laughs> it's like not even <laughs> relevant. It's just <laughs> provocative. Yeah. Yeah. Yenning is hard. Yeah, Yenning is hard. Yeah, is, I'm still like scared of the cameras. Yeah. Same. Yeah, like they're like, oh, Yogi Bhai just here. I'm like, <laughs> no, and then when the cameras are off, you can have a fun conversation with your friend and it'll be really funny. And once the camera goes on, it's just like, Something about in your brain that just turns on that mode where I know. you're just not yourself anymore. Yeah. When you know the camera's on, right? But my group also has that like image of being like funny and like super energetic and like mm. so then like I have like the burden of like I gotta be funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I say like the stupidest shit and it's just like <laughs> I'm like the crow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't even make it into the camera, or sometimes like, or the like the final cut. Sometimes it'll make it into the camera, and they actually put like the gamagi. Like they actually put like the hog. I'm like, God damn does it. that make you feel bad? Not really. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Well, good. anyways, uh, spring seems to be around the corner. It's uh, so warm now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Love it. So happy, but not looking forward to the pollen. Oh shoot! I'm yeah. not oh, yeah, allergic, got, but yeah. oh, I got allergies. What the, what the why? Because I don't want you guys to suffer. Oh. Cat. That was, that was so fake. Cat. What the heck? No, because Joan has really bad allergies. So I know how much oh. she suffers. You just don't suffers. like being around people that sneeze all, all the time. Yeah. That's, no. that's why you don't like, don't want them to suffer. That. That like, thought didn't even years come like across my mind. Cat. <laughs> oh, you're so evil. How Cat. could you think that? Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Take Anyways. Yeah, anyway. Is there a spring okay. song? <laughs> is there a song that you think of in the spring? spring. Oh, yeah. What? Which one? Um. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> I'm I have one. For your answer. You said yeah. <laughs> no, no way. I have one. Wait, what's that? It's what kind of song love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You don't even know your own song? Wait, what? That wasn't Nerdy Love. That was like… I sang Pekarin's part. Alright. that That's cool. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you! Yeah. Oh, oh, never oh, you made the cut. You made the cut. See, you this is why you be on TV. Yeah. Dang. Anyways. According to Korean tradition… Dude! It is Gyeongchip today. It's, which is… It already passed. It's considered a day of awakening for all living things. Yes. Oh, is this kind of like the the Groundhog's Day or whatever for kind Korean people? Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Wait, what yeah. is it called? Is it called Groundhog's Day? Why does it sound so weird? Groundhog's no, it is. Day. It is. It is. What is Groundhog's it? Whoa, whoa. Day? Groundhog's. Groundhog's. Groundhog's Day. Groundhog's Day. Groundhog's. Day. Groundhog's, Day. Groundhog's, Day. Groundhog's Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Oh. Groundhog, Groundhog Day. Day. Groundhog Day. <laughs> Groundhog Day. <laughs> Groundhog Day. <laughs> Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Oh, nice rhyme. <laughs> Wait, oh, yeah. Groundhog Day. Is, you guys, is it like? You guys like spring though. I like warm weather, so I like spring and I summer. Do, yeah, I do like spring. I like spring and fall the most because it's like, I I like wearing like shorts and a hoodie. Mm. But then, huh? 
High shirt jong? Oh, the, like the one where I like, look like I'm not wearing pants? Like, <laughs> like where you wear a really oversized yeah, like some really short <laughs> shirt. Yeah, that might be a little dangerous for me. It's like, <laughs> I don't know about… Oh my god. I don't know if you want to like see I, me with like that. I need, to, I need to see that, man. You, but, uh, you guys used to dress like that, right? In middle school? What? No. Us? You mean girls or us? You guys? No. What? No, I used to be wearing like… Super oversized shirt. We used to wear shorts that… Oh right right. They come down. down. Yeah. We used to wear like right. cargo pants. Yeah oh. yeah. Cargo pants. Yeah like cargo pants. Yeah with like… Pockets. Yeah, cargo like shorts everything. mean. Yeah, cargo yeah, yeah, yeah. shorts. Oh. Cargo shorts. Yeah yeah yeah. And like pockets for like everything. Cargo oh. shows, shorts and a polo, polo yeah, t-shirts. Yeah like polo. Really? With flip flops. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> Wait was fashion the same in Long Island yeah. as Queens? Because when oh, we were no, in middle school… The boys different. would be wearing Tims and then they'd be wearing baggy like jeans. Baggy jeans and really baggy shirts. Like no, just like they were uh, one wearing color. Like tank top underneath and now on top they wear a white white t shirt. Just a white t shirt? Yeah. In no, Long no, Island? No. no. Oh, in us? Queens. Yeah. What about in Long well, Island? Very preppy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Like I, Abercrombie, I went to like, yeah, went to like a preppy school too. Arrow Postale. Oh. You know? Wait, American what? Eagle. Arrow Pa what? Arrow Postale. Arrow Postale. Arrow Postale. Arrow Postale. I think it was just like Arrow Postale. You, you know, you know Arrow Postale, whatever it is. Yeah, American Postel. Eagle. Hollister. Yeah, American Eagle. Yeah, yeah, Hollister. Hollister. Yeah, yeah. All them. There was like a uh, rule. Like jock. Yeah. Jock look. You know, so that we dressed preppy in like 8th and ninth grade. But 7th grade when we entered, it was all about the Sean John, Echo Red, Baby Fat. Yeah. You know? uh, not really for us. Oh. Yeah. It was very, very preppy yeah. for us. I, I remember like… Yeah, like Christmas. I would just get a bunch of like Abercrombie. Mm. Mm. And Abercrombie and Fitch. Like pink. What's the difference? Follows and yeah, yellow, yeah, yeah. green. It was like super colorful. Or like yeah. just like clean like white. Oh, shorts. Just like… Yeah. I or like the hoodies. Days, or it was, I don't, it's not a hoodie but like… It's like a sweater but then like it has like collars. And then you oh. hit like junior senior year. You start wearing like… Like Ed Hardy. Of high school? Like Von Dutch. Yeah. You wore Ed Hardy in high school? No. When was that? That was junior high school. Oh maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> that was, no. That was like… Oh that was like maybe 8th grade or something. Yeah. That was like 8th oh, ninth yeah, grade. Oh yeah. My, my memory is yeah. crazy. I think 8th, 9th grade, I started wearing like kind of like slimmer jeans and like… In college, H&M and stuff. skinny jeans were were a thing in college. Like Yeah, that was like the Tumblr era. So yeah, skinny jeans. Yeah, I didn't go the to American, college. American Apparel. <laughs> yeah, the owl necklace. Oh, yeah, American like, Apparel. Yeah. Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. Oh shoot, American yeah. Apparel. Yeah. Dude, I used to get like the crazy like deep v-necks. Ah! Ah! I used to wear those. Down to your belly button? Or what? Yeah dude like pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> like pull it down a little bit you'll almost, see my happy almost trail. Almost looks like a cardigan. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's not… It's, I wouldn't even call it a v-neck. I would just call it like a… Like a tor- torso thong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh wait. Torso… Torso. Yeah, Which one's torso. a torso? Torso's upper body, right? Torso, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Torso> <laughs> I, I would just call it like a torso thong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> girls uh, wore um, those yoga pants, like pink. Yeah, yoga yeah pants purple, like with gold, thongs. silver. So it looked like they weren't wearing any underwear. Yeah. Yeah. Just like the really tight belt. Why? Kind I, that of was pants. the thing, though. Like I wasn't looking. It was like every everybody you was wearing. You weren't looking. Yeah. Okay. No, everybody was know? wearing it. That was yeah. the thing, though. You know. Yeah, in America. How do you don't know? Even no, don't even lie. How bro. do you know? You weren't oh, looking. Man. How do you I was, know? I was told by How my friends you know, that were looking. I was told. I, I walked around like this. <laughs> you walked like that yeah. on the stairs. Yes. Yeah, when they went up, that's how you looked. Yeah. Back in the days, how did you guys listen to music? CD players. No? After and CD then, players. And then MP3 iPods. Players. MP3 players before iPod. the iPod. Like Where did you guys iPod? download music? Limewire. Limewire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just… That yeah, was that's the just thing. how it was though yeah, back that then. Was, and I also used Horibata for Korean yeah, me music. Yeah, me too. Me too. Right? Me too. Right? And then did you oh, use uh, really Winamp? Winamp, yes, player? yes, yes. Oh, yeah. You don't oh know my gosh. Out? Okay, what did you use to play the music on? Windows okay. Media Player. Okay, okay. Oh, he was a Oh, wait, all the like uh, graphic yeah. visualizers <laughs> and stuff? Yeah. That oh was a thing. Gosh. 
Oh my oh. gosh. Yeah. Did you guys have those Korean MP3 players? The I little remember. ones? Yes, I remember. With I the remember. necklace. You could wear it as a mm-hmm. necklace. And yeah. you twist it. It's like a perm. Like a… A uh, perm? Tri- triangular like… Kidung. I didn't have that one. And then you, you, you kind of like rotate it. And to, I, to skip to the next song. I just remember all song. the Korean people what? had like the Ooh. Mickey Mouse one. That's Mickey after. Mouse? Oh that's yeah, after. That, that thing. That twists? Oh no. There's another model oh, that okay. twists. I just had the normal looking one. Yeah, that's yeah, classic. Yeah, that one's the normal one. Oh, the fir- oh no, 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 never mind. Oh, man. Uh, I oh, I had the first one. And then you you can only hold like 20 songs in there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah bro. In the beginning. Wait, what was… What, what was like the top American song and then top Korean song you guys In the to? End by Linkin Park. Oh. That's back then. Ooh, that's a good one. And Britney Spears' Toxic. That song. Um, Did you listen to Korean songs? Yeah, Drunken Tiger. Drunken ti- Tigers oh, like back then. Drunken Tigers. I, I like kind of started getting to K-pop like a little… Like my friends kind of like introduced it to me. But I had… I didn't really like listen too much. Mm. Mm. Until like later. I think maybe like… Like 8th grade, ninth. Mm. Like yeah, what was that? Year, what like, K-pop song was it then? I don't even know. Mm. Mine was… um. Do you know Tashani's? Yeah, of course. Oh, I, I've heard the song before. Yeah, yeah. it's a classic. Yeah. I used to listen to a lot of Epic High too. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I, I listen to a lot yeah. of Epic High. Like a genuine fan. I listen to a lot of like FT Island too. Because I, really? I was into like punk rock. But that's oh. like afterwards. So then I was like, yeah, oh, like a that, rock Korean group. Isn't that like right. end of the 2000s? I don't know. I got into like K pop kind of late. Mm. And then mm. I remember like. Big Bang. Um, oh yes. Mm. They were like… Beat to the eye. The bang. Bang. Yeah. yeah the… The… The remake, like, remake yeah. of that and stuff. Um, what about that song? By Taehyung. Yarabun. Yarabun. Are there any international <laughs> fans out there tonight? Shit, <laughs> shit. Bonjour. Here, 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 That's crazy, man. We love you, That's Taeyang. the future we of music you. industry, actually. <laughs> there are songs. No, no more ments. It's all… You have to do all the ments <laughs> in between your songs we like that. We should start today. <laughs> Welcome back to our show. <laughs> where we get real with our thoughts on all things concerning life. Like that. We are your host, Penny <laughs> of B to B. Harry. <laughs> um, there are songs like that um released back in the days and it was really bad. Mm-hmm. But now people really like it. Like But that's not Taeyang a song Fang. by Taeyang. It's no, just but, a but narrative. Gang, gang by B. Ah, gang. Okay. Gang by no, B. but that became famous because it was like a meme. Yeah, it was people kind of like a meme. That's what I'm saying. Though. That's what I'm saying. Because it's so… It was so funny. Right. It became popular. It was ahead of its time. Mm-hmm. But now mm. meme is a huge thing nowadays. So do you think… Since the topic of today is uh, future of industry, uh, music industry… Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think… Successful music in the future will have to be closely related to being a meme. Like how memeable it is. Yeah, or like yeah. How TikTokable Beca- it is. Because yeah, it is, it is. Like people purposely make songs that are TikTokable. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, I think it's true because um, I mean, I don't know, like in the future, because like if like TikTok and whatever like dies down, there's gonna be like a new trend and like whatever you know. But like. Um, <laughs> Look at like Chris Brown, the Under the Influence song when it like first came out. Um, it didn't really like do that well. Mm-hmm. It just did like just like average. normal, yeah, yeah, average, like his average sales or whatever. And then because of TikTok, all of a sudden, like a few years later, boom. It, what like, song is it? How does it go? Under the Influence. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Wait, did it? it did it recently Back in blow up? <laughs> Oh. Wait, what makes a song TikTokable though? If it's kind no of like idea. catchy or repetitive or easy to dance to, that's too general. Or like if you could, but then a lot of the um, music that go viral on TikTok. <laughs> I told you this song. What kind of challenge was this? Like, why did people start using it? Oh, I don't, it? I don't know. I don't oh. know why it blew up, but I just heard that it was like because of TikTok. 
Dude, but it's so random because all you need is just one person to make good content to any song. And then that'll just… That becomes a challenge. Yeah, or like, or like pe- people copy it. I don't know how they think of it. How do they even think well, of it in the first place? Making that video that other people want to follow is very hard. Yeah. yeah. To make certain challenges very hard. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I don't know how to… But then isn't TikTok more like younger audience? So when you release music, you need people from all age to listen to it. But TikTok is more for like teens and 20s. I mean, I feel like if you have even like just like one specific age group, like you, you, you'll probably be set. I don't I think, think you need like… What makes a song TikTokable is if it has like a one uh one good like beat drop mm-hmm. it's like it's got like a, a and like a good transition because all the good tiktok videos have a transitioning part mm-hmm. in it so oh, it's like, like the a, a really stuff. like happy beat in the in the beginning and then all of a sudden it's like boom and then they like switch the yeah you know what i mean like sam the, smith and kim petras unholy oh unholy yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Or like the lyrics have to be like. Yeah. Memeable. Mm. But you know, because I I make music, it's so hard to, uh, make songs that are TikTokable. Will, no, 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 will do well. Like, if you purposely produce a song to, like, make it successful, go viral, for TikTok. Go viral whatever, it never works. But it's the songs that you just made for fun and you have no expectation. That's the songs that actually do well. Mm. So there's no right answers in making songs and music. Then have some more fun making your music. <laughs> I will. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that solved all my problems. So it's never in the back of your mind? Like how do I… No. Uh, I do take into like consideration, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, will, will it be easier… Easy to follow mm-hmm. along right, right, when you right. sing, or like, is is there too much, too many uh, English words in there, mm. stuff like that? Ah, uh. yeah. yeah, but I I do feel like you have to focus a lot on like social media these days. Mm. For, like, so this hard, song. man. It's like I mean, even like new jeans, mm. that, like uh, what's it called? It was like the, it's like oh, like oh, well, yogi bo uh, hyper- and then, like, yeah. Yeah. like that became like a whole meme and everything too and like they were already big but I feel like that like yeah. thing like blew them up even more and stuff because everyone was doing the challenge and stuff like that. Mm. Their music, their songs are so good though. Yeah. And then if your song does go viral on TikTok then obviously it's gonna do well on the iTunes chart or whatever chart like yeah. Billboard chart and then that's gonna be the only ones playing on the radio. Exactly. I feel like if you listen to American radio it's always the same songs playing over and over again. Like, but then… It's all the TikTok songs. I, I kind of don't want one of the song, one of my songs to go viral on TikTok because I don't want to be that artist where people only know of your TikTok songs. Uh, or yeah. song, right, right, right. one song. Yeah. Because I've heard a lot of incidents where these TikTok artists… Um, they do a concert mm-hmm. and people only sing along to that one song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they wait for that song during the set list. Mm-hmm. And until that song comes on, they're, they're just on their phones and stuff. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when that song comes out, they're like, oh, they sing along. They take out their phones. It's like, oh. And then after that, it's like… And then they leave. No oh reaction. God. Yeah. I mean, I'd be <clears> grateful <throat> that they came. But then it'll still but you don't feel be, bad. You like, don't want to have that kind of career. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. That or like it's just like one hit wonder. It's like boom. Mm. Yeah. And then it's like hey like 10 years later it's like hey remember that one song? Like what happened to that guy? Yeah. yeah. Like, and songs are so short these days. That's the well, I key. Mean, but yeah it's like also like… Um, something. Yeah like… Because people's attention spans are just so much shorter these days I feel like. Yeah. But as um, someone who hosts radio shows… <laughs> it sucks because the song break is so short. Yeah. <laughs> you, Play you know? two at a time now. We can't. <laughs> but it, you know Why? the older it's like songs… The, it's like the same amount as one song though. <laughs> There's a song called 119 Remix. Uh-huh. Uh, it's a show me the money rap song. Oh we've played it before. 119 Remix. It's super long. That's like a 30 minute song. Dude so even just introducing that. the featuring artists. Is like featuring this, like person, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person. So play that. Damn. Like go for a break or something. 
<laughs> bed go and break, eat, so, go yeah, eat something. Go eat something like, <laughs> okay, no, that's that's not possible. Yeah. Yeah. Max, yeah, I, like feel, five I minutes. feel lazy today. All right, guys. Today we're going <laughs> to take half the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> during, I don't know. <laughs> the, during COVID though, um, you know how we had a lot of offline uh, online shows instead of offline shows? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Did you guys have Wait, any performances? Why are you leading though? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just felt like… <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. I like it. To, to switch it up. Yeah, I yeah, like he's it. Like, yeah. He's the only one yeah. looking at yeah. the- I like it. I didn't even touch the Did script. Did you guys get to do any uh, online Concerts gigs? or whatever? Yeah. yeah performances I, or whatever. Yeah. I think we did like… Uh, one, one or two like online concerts. Um, We might have done like one or two like online like uh, hangs out stuff too. How'd you like that? Um, I hate it. You hate it? <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's so awkward because it's literally like… Like especially like concerts, right? Like mm. it's all just like ticker. Yeah. There's no like sound. Oh, yeah. you, you're just in front of cameras only. Mm. So awkward, right? But then yeah. you have to like pretend like there's like a reaction or something. It's yeah. Like, like you finish like the first like opening. It's like, Yarabun, mo, Jimmy saw yo. Yarabun. He's like, Yarabun. Opening, Jimmy saw so na yo. I love that. I love that. No, Jimmy saw so yo. <laughs> it's awkward because I've done some off uh, online shows too, and it's like it's hip hop, so it's like mm. yo, put your hands up, but it's like ah, mm. ah, <laughs> yo, put your hands I up. I literally the ca- hear the camera. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah, dude, having an it's audience really is so important. important. Even like not just performing, but hosting shows, like. Mm. As an MC Online. or whatever, yeah. it's like you introduce someone, and usually they would be like clapping and be like, Ooh! but then since it's still it's being broadcasted you. online, ah, and you still so have awkward. to act like they're part of it, like, oh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Ah, yes, yeah, exactly. That's like the most it's cringe. Like, and then you have to wait and you wait for like the tech to come. I was like, nah, like, and there's like, like a uh, like 10 second delay every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So I was like, yeah. oh, they are tech on the other day. Oh, they are they are But now everything is kind of like going back to normal. So yeah. Yeah, a lot of tours are happening. Oh, I mean, now they do just like the normal show and then they add the online on top of it. Right, too. for people who can't attend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's just like, not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. pretty much like, like… I don't know but what I, I watched the PSG like soccer match live this time. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. So when I watch like soccer on TV… I'm just kind of like… like Because like, cause if you watch like basketball… It's so fast paced. Mm. <coughs> like soccer seems like slow kind of. Mm. And it's like… You're just like… Oh my gosh. Like go. Like you know. Mm. Oh, in real life? No, 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 no. When you're watching on TV. But oh, then… If you watch in person, like the atmosphere and everything, it's just like but so it's too different. Far. You don't see the ball, right? You don't see in like person? what's happening. No, you can oh, see, you it. see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. So then it's like I feel like it's just like yeah, just like watching the concert like online. It's pretty much just like watching a soccer game. Like it's just like oh yeah, like same. Like, Even being at the basketball game, right? Mm. Yeah, of course. Like it, there's that interaction, not with just. The people performing or people in on stage or out there, but with the audience next to you, because right. you guys are there for the same reason, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. like cheering. Yeah. Yeah, and it was like, it was like fun because there was like the team, like the the other teams, like fans, like next to us and stuff. And like each time, like they score, they'll be like <coughs> flicking us off and like oh, and then when we score, we'll be like ah, mm. all that stuff. But like, mm. I feel like if you're watching an online concert, it's just like, mm. like I feel like I'll be like watching like YouTube. Right. Kind of. Yeah. Do you think as artists, um, do you prefer like big crowd or small crowd? Like big venues, small venues. Well, I mean, a- huh? Go. No, you go. You go. As a concert goer, I prefer small venues. Why? Because well, recently I watched Kalani live. She performed at the Yes Twenty Four live mm-hmm. hall. Mm-hmm. And, <coughs> well, the best thing is, oh, if you're in the pit. Po- Mosh Standing pit. What is oh, it mosh pit. There mosh was a mosh pit? pit. No, no, no. What is it? It's called pit something pit. Standing. You're standing. Pit? I don't know. Standing. 
Anyways, yeah, when you're there, there's a very big chance that she like the artist will come down and interact with oh, you, be oh, really like close. At the front. Yeah, that's like one of the best things. I couldn't because I was in the back. But still, it's just something about listening to the live vocals in a cl- smaller venue. Because when it's a big venue, you can't really… Right. The sound like, is like just all yes, on the Live hall isn't considered a, a small venue though. It's still it's, pretty like… Oh, is it? Yeah. I think medium size. It's like 1200. Oh, <coughs> sorry. Twelve hundred? Then I like medium. Like no, I think I think more, more than yeah. two thousand maybe. Yeah, it's not like the smallest venue I've been to, but it's not big like the Olympic uh, Stadium because okay, I've been okay. to Olympic Stadium right. like handball. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, that's really big. But uh, I, for you guys, <coughs> like performing or going? Performing. So performing. Performing. I definitely. I mean, if we can sell it out, I prefer a big crowd because like I feel like. If you just see like all the fans and everything, like you get more energy too mm. and stuff. But I mean, there is definitely like a loss of intimacy. Mm-hmm. Like if it's like smaller venues, it is more intimate. You could kind of like see each and every one that's like there. But you know, if it's like ten thousand people, like you're not gonna be able to see the people in the back. <clears throat> yeah. So there is like that, I guess. But it's like as a performer, like obviously, like if more people will come to your concert and you can fill up a bigger mm. thing than like that's what you would want to do and then you like get the energy too if like it's just, like like the openings you know there's it's usually like some like crazy music and like the led screen like opens or whatever or mm. like you like pop out of the jumping thing you know yeah. it's like yeah and you see a bunch of people it's just like oh sh- let's go <clears throat> i do think um for sometimes when you perform it you get more nervous if it's small because you can see their oh, faces yeah. right in front of you oh, yeah. but if it's big they just kind of all look like shadows you it's kind of like um bungee jumping mm-hmm. versus skydiving bungee jumping is actually the height is lower it's, it's much lower yeah but it feels more realistic because the height actually feels more real to you. Mm-hmm. It's, it feels like it could kill you. Real, realistically, it could kill you. Oh. But skydiving, since it's… Even though it's a lot higher, it just feels unreal. So I get less nervous with a bigger crowd because it's just a sea of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. really see their faces. But if it's like a smaller venue, mm. I, I feel like, oh, they're watching me. They're mm. listening to me, you know? Yeah. yeah, I get that, but I don't get the bungee jumping and skydiving. Like skydiving seems more scary to me. I mean, I've never oh. gone skydiving, so I, I wouldn't know that like feeling. <laughs> yeah, but like Just I don't like know. Imagining I, I, jumping I don't know, off the helicopter, say, bungee jumping height is like the the humans human brain mm-hmm. take it's, that as like the most fear fearful height. What do you guys think about? Uh, these dance challenges on TikTok or Reels. I feel like they're kind of dying down though. Dying down? Right? Because it's like… Still a lot, no? There still is a lot. Like everyone that does a comeback… More is still in Korea, doing right? it. Yeah. I think so. I think yeah. in America it like died down a lot, a lot. Yeah. But in Korea like whenever a group does a comeback… They still Something do like a dance right? challenge mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Mm. Um, I think it's more about getting content now for dance challenges because you um, collab with different artists and fans love to see it and you mm. can kind of bring in other fans from other artists mm. if you collab with them. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a bonus content kind of thing. Yeah. Do you guys yeah. feel the pressure though like to use these platforms and maybe oh when I have new content out I have to kind of, kind of like promote according to the trends nowadays? Sometimes when I see a fun reel, I'll save it. <clears throat> then I'll never get around to doing it because I'm, there's so many new content that come uh-huh, up after right. that, right? And then by the time I'm like, okay, maybe I'll film this. It's already out of trend. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not yeah. trending yeah. anymore, you know? Yeah. It just goes by so fast. So mm. you just gotta… If you like something, you just gotta do it in the moment. You can't save it and like do it do later, it later on because yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a new trend. <laughs> like the next day, it's gonna be a new trend. Yeah. <laughs> that one's gonna be gone. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Is it, like, do you feel pressure to follow the trend? Like, in some ways, yes. Some ways, no. Like, I'm like, I don't really care about like TikTok and stuff. Like, I don't even have it on my phone. Mm. Mm. But then, like, if we do a comeback, I'm like, like I know that like they're gonna want it. Like, the company's gonna tell us to do it because it's very helpful. Yeah. So if you like, it right. if you're gonna do it, 
then like do it prop like properly? let's do it properly. Like yeah. that's like the yeah. kind of mindset that I have. But then like mm. if we don't do a dance challenge, like I'm not gonna be like, no, like we have to do a dance challenge. Like, oh mm-hmm. that's the trend. Like, oh, yeah. what are you guys yeah. doing? Like Yeah. Did you ever have a dance challenge? I didn't have a dance challenge, but for my song, uh three sixty five and seven, there was like a remix challenge where you know how it's like half half the screen. Yeah, the half yeah. thing. So I was doing something and then they had to do something with me. Ah, uh, like I think I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I saw that. Isn't there a challenge for like blue check thing? Like a yeah, challenge? Jay has a challenge, uh, blue check challenge. Did he uh, make that like himself? Dance. I think him and his dancers oh, made that challenge. Wow. And uh, should we should like you should think of something like a challenge, a trendy thing, but not dancing, something else. No, the fine Terry challenge. <laughs> <laughs> up with, like like I said before, coming up with a challenge is very hard. I know. Or it was so hard. Just any viral viralable. Uh, viral. And like, I feel like viralable viralable content is yeah. just so hard. Mm. But I feel like I feel like what you said earlier is like right. Like if you like try to like. Yeah, if make you try it too hard, like, right? Yeah, if you like try to make it like viralable, mm. Mm. they're gonna like, know. The yeah, people yeah, are gonna, yeah. People oh are so smart now. Yeah. yeah, but then like if you're just like doing some stupid like stuff with your friends or something, mm. and you like upload it, and everyone's like, "Hey, wait, that's funny!" Mm. Like we should do that too. And then like I think like sometimes like mm. it catches on better like that. But yeah. Oh, uh, here's a good question. What do you think will happen to the importance of award shows as time goes on? Like Grammys or Billboard Music Awards. Do you, do you watch these shows? <laughs> no. I don't watch them because <clears throat> I don't live in America. So I don't have the channel for it. But I yeah, do yeah, yeah. read up on like who got what awards right. and stuff. I don't even read up on like who got it and stuff like that. Uh, are they like, like 100% credible? Is it? There are a lot, a lot of artists that boycott these awards. Mm. Like Weekend. Isn't participating in them. Yeah. Uh, who else? Freaking. Well, well, what's the reason behind it? Because they they feel like it's rigged. Oh. Yeah. And then I heard that there's like, it's like pretty racist too. Yeah. Yeah. Right? If you're black, they automatically categorize you under urban music. Mm. And they're like, what does what does urban even mean? Mm. You know what I mean? Uh. So yeah, that too. I don't. I don't really watch it. Like actually, I just read up, read up on like all the articles. And it's over social TV. media. It's like all yeah, over yeah, social yeah. media. So I, I get I mean, to find I f- out. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even like... care about like these awards, music awards in Korea too, <clears throat> yeah. or in America. Mm. I don't feel like. I feel like they don't really hold that much weight, because if the music is good and you have a lot of listeners, that itself is already like that's it. Mm. Why do you need the award? You know what I mean? Yeah, I think, I think the same. Like I, I, and people I think, kind of forget too. Yeah, who won? I think they're gonna. I think it's gonna become irrelevant later. I think when um, we debuted, it was much more. It seemed like way people bigger. put way oh, much like more value. Like that? Yeah, yeah. 뭔가 그때는 더 I think it was more important to yeah, artists. I mean, there and, were like less music broadcast stations too, though. Yeah. Now there's one for like literally every single day of the week, mm. and then like um. Like how they give you first place is like so different too. And like it's just like… I don't know. It's like… You could literally like… I think you could get first place by just going out on like a lot of like… Mm. So I think winning first place as a group… As a K-pop group or like an artist… Isn't that important anymore. What's more important is how relevant you are on the internet. Yeah. Mm. On Instagram, right. on like yeah, 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 whatever, yeah. YouTube. And, and like how much, how much like audience how you could like. How are you? Like yeah. how trendy yeah. are you? And there are, there are idols who sell out shows when they go on tours. And they've never won like number one on yeah, broadcast. Sure. So Like me. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> no, for sure. Like <laughs> I, I'm not even like trying to like whatever. But me, I realized I don't… Because I used to have this… um, Not complex, but like this… Stress. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, where it's like… I don't know if my music… I don't know if I'm doing right in Korea. Okay, Cause like, like doubting yourself? Yeah. Because like… None of the music… None of the songs that I make out in Korea… Like make it on the charts. Not mm-hmm. that I try to make it on the charts. Mm-hmm. But just 
you know, it's like um If it goes up there, then it's like it feels it's like good I know stuff, yeah, that like, a lot of people are listening to it. Right, right, right. But right. I don't. So it's like kind of like a maybe, confirmation. Damn, yeah. Maybe I'm not doing that well. Mm. Maybe my music sucks or whatever. And then I I see myself selling out venues and, and like big venues mm. in like North the, America. What, what was it like the fi- fi- what Terminal Seven? Five? Terminal Five. And I don't it's like take wow, five. You know. So it, it's not really about making a, up on the charts yeah. or winning awards. I've never won awards. I was never never nominated to anything. So I always felt like I was under underrated, under underappreciated in Korea. Mm. But how many artists in Korea right now can really do a solo tour and sell out mm. these venues? Not a lot. Not bro. many. Not a lot. So it's like that's when I knew I was like, maybe I should just be more confident yeah. in yeah, what, I, what I'm doing and you know. Not really care too much about what other people or, or what it appears. Yeah. 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 No, because I mean, there there's so many groups right now too. They sell like so many albums, but then like no one in Korea knows who they are. Mm. Yeah. But then like they'll go somewhere overseas. They'll they like have a bunch of fans and stuff, and it's yeah. just like, yeah. what I don't even know what's like relevant. Like, are they yeah. relevant? Like, I don't even know. Yeah. Like, what's are they relevant? Like. Even like Eric Nam too. Mm-hmm. He he does a lot of… You know he… He tours all around the world. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. But in Korea… Like his music isn't like… Charting. Yeah charting like crazy. Mm. But he's doing crazy yeah. numbers of cities. You know? So it's like… But still so these companies and whoever is in charge of those companies… They still look at the numbers because we're still like number oriented. Yeah. And you know they want to see results. And the only results that you can see with your eyes… Like what number is the song on the charts and how many awards they got and stuff no, like but that. I think, <clears throat> I think soon… It's not going to be like how many number ones did you get? What Like how many… What what ranking is it on? I think it's gonna start just being like how many albums can you sell? Like sell like a uh, how many like how much audience can you bring? Uh, yeah, in no, certain what's areas. Your ticket po- ticketing power. Mm. Yeah, it should be like that. Like later on, because like these days, like like I feel like anyone can like go on and just get like first place. Like if you just like time it right, mm. no, you could get first place anywhere. People buy yeah. streams too. Oh yeah, yeah, they do that mm. too. Yeah. But then like they'll 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 be like first place or something, but then they're like likes will be like five. I know. Mm. It's like Yeah. How, how are you first place with five likes? Like what the heck? I don't yeah. know why they would make you got it these so computer obvious. fans right there. Huh? Yeah. I don't know why they would do it so obviously. Like Yeah. So it's like yeah, like I think later it's like album sales. Yeah. Um but even that it's like you could tajiki like album sales too. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like I think it's like later it'll be like ticketing power. Uh. And then you you just buy people. You just buy yeah, you just buy <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Do that too. Oh, What's real anymore? Yeah. <laughs> What's it? Hey, is this the Truman Show? <laughs> like, do you think the definition of genres are becoming more blurry nowadays? I mean, a little. Like, I don't know about like blurry, but there's definitely a lot of mixing like going on. Yeah. So blurry. No. <laughs> no, but I feel like it's not like blurry. It'll be like hip hop song with like. Punk rock like aspects. Okay. But what genre… See like… But you know how the awards shows or music charts… They kind of divide the songs oh, right. into like, genres? What would it, like, like where would you put yeah, these yeah. songs, right? Yeah. What What would you say your music is? What, what would you have see, to, I have a hard time right? explaining okay, myself yeah, it too. Might, it might be a little I blurry, feel bad though. for the person w- that does the job of like <laughs> putting the category on yeah. like these albums. It's just going to be like five different <gasps> genres. Like, like, <laughs> what is this music? Yeah. Um, is it pop, K-pop, hip hop? <laughs> like, I think I'm. I'm like definitely rap, and then rap like hip hop, R and B, pop, R and B, R and B. Yeah, K-pop, <laughs> alternative. <laughs> yeah, alternative. alternative rap, urban. Yeah. <laughs> ur- ur- no, because I'm Asian, <laughs> not urban. Oh, yeah, Oriental. <laughs> or- <laughs> <laughs> Oriental rap, <laughs> uh, but I feel like hip hop and like R and B is kind of getting blurry. Mm. Mm. Definitely, it's like like you listen to a lot of like the R and B songs, and then they'll have like eight oh eights in the back and stuff. Yeah. It's just like it's like who is it? You know what bothers me though in Korea specifically in Korea, uh, the word singing rap. Mm. Uh, people don't really understand the the meaning of singing rap anymore. Mm. In Korea, people think. 
if you're a rapper, but but if you sing though, mm. uh, people are like, oh, this is singing rap. But that's not. If they don't rap, it's not singing rap. They're just singing. There are so-called rappers mm. that just sing, sing. like uh. ballads or like pop music. Right, 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 right. But they still think, oh, that's singing rap. He's so good at singing, rapping, whatever. But he's just singing. He's just singing. So how? Would, so if it's to so be considered rap, if you're rapping rap, with melodies on uh-huh. it, that's singing rap. You need to have like rhymes. Uh, and, I see. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. You're you're rapping with melodies. Right. That's right, right. singing rap. So some of my music is singing rap. Some of my music is just singing. borderline singing. Mm. So yeah, but in Korea, everybody thinks that if you're if you're a rapper but and you sing, it's like considered hip hop. Oh, yeah, it's automatically Me- melody hip-hop. rap. Yeah, melody hip hop. Whatever. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I think I see a lot of that too. Yeah. Um, what do you feel about people who say like singing rap or, yeah, singing rap is not real hip hop or whatever? Um, what is so? I, I would ask them what then. What is real hip hop then? And then they'd be like, oh, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> they um, they they're probably just like old heads then. Yeah. They're like, what's real hip hop? And like, it's like. Uh, like NWA. Like I think, I think it doesn't. I think singing is cool as long as you rap, like right, right, right. with it. Mm. You know, There's actual. I think that's like, like my personal borderline, the extremes mm. of like he- mel- melodic hip hop. Mm. Yeah, you need to have rhymes, man. Mm. If you don't, if you don't have rhymes in your verses or whatever, that's just singing. That's ballad. That's pop. <laughs> There's some like just like pop singers. That even rhyme like the last… Like, they word. rhyme better than some of the Korean <laughs> rappers out here, bro. Like they're not rappers but then like their songs like it all like rhyme. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I mean… Uh, is it… Uh, I guess it's like kind of getting blurry. Because it's like… Like I said… Yeah, like like you said like what genre would you like… If they get an award mm. for like… Song of the year for like… Let's say it's like… Because there's a lot of like punk rock and hip hop that they're like mixing these days. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, would it be number one for punk rock or would it be number one for hip hop? Or like, I guess it's kind of getting blurry a little bit. What about the importance of lyrics? Because back in the days, having a good message in your lyrics was very important. Right, but right, nowadays, right. people don't really listen to lyrics as much. Mm. It's I, all about yeah, being I like, catchy. I like never listen to lyrics. Yeah. I always listen to like the beat more. Yeah. Or like their flow. And what it sounds Or whatever. Like. Yeah. If it just sounds good with the beat or yeah. like whatever. I don't actually listen to the lyrics. But I mean I should I guess. Because I'm technically like a rapper in our group too. Mm. <laughs> so I guess I should focus like a little more on lyrics. But I don't know. I just uh, For me it's more like the flow. Mm. With the beat. Like mm. does it just sound good with the beat? Then I'm just like yeah. Mm. So whatever. Mm. So just to extrapolate. Um, do you think the future of music will have like little to no lyrical meaning? And it's just all about how it sounds. <sighs> Damn. Maybe because a lot of people can't focus like for that long these days. Yeah. Yeah. Or they can't focus well. So they might not be able to focus on the lyrics. Mm. Do you think there will come a time where the vocals are no longer need no no longer needed? Yeah, with it's AI. just the beat or like just sounds, bunch of like oh. electronic sounds, just like that's like EDM, but just no, more crazy. You're gonna like just, need vocals. It's better with vocals. I mean, I you think, think now. I think there will. Come a time where like it'll trend for a little bit where there is like it's just like full EDM, mm. no lyrics. It's literally just like and just like frequencies. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that like isn't that like white noise like to help you sleep? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, techno is popular because techno sounds and the synths and like all the sources. Uh. It it reaches frequencies that the human voice can't reach. Mm-hmm. That's why it's very addicting to your ears because oh, it, it's like getting one? all oh, the frequencies okay. that mm-hmm. that you can't really hear normally. Oh, so like your body's voices. like, oh, what is that? Yeah. yeah. So oh, you, I want to hear you more. You just feel like, oh, you get into like this zone. <laughs> this zone. <laughs> yeah. What is this zone? So I think in the future, I mean, there might mark be. Mark my words, man. In the future, no more vocalists. 
What? Just beat makers. No. Sound makers. Just frequency I makers, man. I not accept that. I, mean, I, no, think, watch, I think, I think there might me. be a trend of that. Profit. But then I feel like people are going to be like, I want people, vocals again. Yeah, like people whatever. People always appreciate and good singers back. and good lyrics. There was always going to be a mania like group. Well, yeah. yeah. But I'm saying majority. There will like come a, a time where public. we're just listening to sounds. Yeah. <laughs> and just like oh, you know. But, I mean, I feel like it could trend for a little bit, but mm. then I feel like vocals and like everything will come back eventually, and then because everything it just comes yeah. back around in a circle. Yeah. I feel like if there is a song with really good lyrics, it'll be a timeless like classic song. You know how we still listen to like songs by Nas or whatever. It'll kind of be something like that. EDM is kind of making a comeback right now too. Yeah. Like uh, what, what's his name? Um, the, What is this? Oh, that's not EDM. That's uh, well… Like house. Like like Jersey Club. Jersey Club. Um, Lil Uzi. Yeah, Lil Uzi. I Lil Uzi. Rah, 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 rah. I just wanna… Uh, uh, Damn. I just wanna… Uh, uh. Oh, whoa. Yeah. But I mean like like the, the sources and everything is very like electronic like you know that you know that dance? Yeah. Yeah, you should do that dance challenge. I can't. <laughs> I do like you that should beat do though. The dance challenge. It seems like you I already do know like it. that beat. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it. that kind of love beat. It. I like Jersey House. Isn't that isn't that like very like electronic too though? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, I feel I feel like but I can't listen to it for a long time because it gives me a headache. Like it's too loud. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? That's why I think at home when I'm resting, I don't like listening to music anymore. I, lis- I like listening to podcasts. Mm. Just listen to people talk. Mm. Not even lot, like classical music? No. Oh. I feel like a lot of people that like work with music… They kind of end up like this. Yeah because music is all I think about during the day. Yeah. Right. And then like if they listen to music, they'll start like like let's say Puking. they heard like a source that they like or something, like mm. it'll be like work for them again. Yeah. <laughs> they're driving and they're just like oh, cool. <laughs> But because when I listen to any type of music, I start analyzing that uh, music. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, exactly. What chord so progression is it? Like, you know, what's what kind of EQ, what kind of like mixing, whatever. Is there some time when you guys just sit in silence at home without yeah. anything? Yeah, there is. No. Without nothing, oh, shoot, without no. anything in the background. No, 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 you no, no, always no. have something. Yeah. 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 But really? at, at a really low volume. Oh, like podcast. Yeah. Or what about you? Like always like a movie or… Yeah, like TV show or something on. Or like I'll be playing a game or something like… If it's too silent, it just freaks me out. Yeah. I don't like silence. Yeah. Unless it's an awkward silence. And then I'm like… <laughs> 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 yeah. Are you like… Stay, like sitting in silence? No, I'm like that too. Uh, I thought I was the only one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Like if it's like super silent, like I'll start like focusing on like… The, the sound of the light bulb or something. Like yeah, the clock like ticking, right? Like, like the fire of like the I candle. Think, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everybody has a go-to background noise. Yeah. Mine was like Friends sitcom on Netflix. Uh, yeah. I used to have it like at a really low volume just uh-huh. to… Feel like I have friends at at home. <laughs> I have company at home. Mine would be like infinite. But then after after two you two hours, you're like get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> oh yeah, I can control turn, my turn friends. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, it's on demand. I like yeah. sitcoms. Mm. Yeah, mm. having it as a background noise. I would huh? have like Yenung. I would have like Wandojong or like Radio Star. You know, like the yeah, yeah. funny clips on oh, YouTube, yeah. like that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't think I like just like stay still though in my house. Uh, what do you do? Like I'll like I won't like if I turn something on like I'll be actually like watching it. Oh. Like not just like background music or like background noise or whatever. Like I'll be actually like, watching it or I'll be playing a game. Mm. What about if or, you're cleaning your house or washing the dishes or cooking or whatever? No, I'm doing something though. Like I don't think I just like… But like, you always oh, have I want to just like relax and just like lay down. Mm. Like, I don't think I do that. Mm. Fair enough. Mm. I think like my relax is just like lay down like watch a movie, play a game or something like. Mm. Yeah but I mean… Well I'm doing like the dishes and stuff but I, I do like music in the background. What did we talk about this episode? 
Future of music uh, industry. Future of music. Oh. We are doomed. No, but we're doomed. Really, like you're gonna come back to this video after ten years and be like, Harry was right. There's no more no more vocal artists no. anymore. Just no. sentences. Just, yeah, sound sentences. I feel, like, sound, be sentences. Be oh, sound I feel yeah. like they're gonna be better singers as time goes no. by. No. Like no. skill wise, because the singers no, back in the days were so much better than the singers now. We no, can't but, you know, can't, no, they they no, can't no, perform the, live. No, they the need the young, auto tune. Kalani was sick live. Oh, she yeah, was yeah, even Kalani's better than. Good. I'm, no, I'm talking about like younger kids these days but, because they grow up watching. Like they they're more exposed to media and good singing, good dancing, whatever. At younger age, they're so much better than our average kids when we when we were that age. Maybe I don't know. Maybe like I I don't know. I think they'll. They'll be worse because they're just gonna rely on technology. Oh, like auto tune and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> like Travis Scott, hate kids. <laughs> he like, Ariana Grande is good. Oh, she's she's the best. Yeah, oh, she's, yeah, she's, 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 she's actually the best trouble. in the world. <laughs> like, thank you, Travis Scott. Okay. Just like doesn't turn off auto tune on his mic. So I'm like, did you hear him like yell when he like actually like fell down like the stage? He was like. <laughs> like, like, yeah. was like, was like, he was like yelling at like someone like in the crowd with the auto tune. I was like, you can't fucking do that. Like, yeah, you better stop. Seriously? Because like, yeah, the auto tune is just on. Just like, like he just doesn't turn it on. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. It's funny. Well, I hope there will be good. Things. I'm sure there'll be like one or two. Like, <laughs> Ashley is really done, tired. Like, whatever. Yeah, you're tired today or something. I'm tired. I don't know. You're like super quiet today. No. Because we're talking about a topic that she's not really interested in. Yeah. I don't think she, about… I don't… I don't… I she, never she like, really thought she about like it. She like kind of like blanks out when it's not interesting topics. <laughs> no. I was yeah. interested. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us Thank today you. again. I wish we had some more like… F- more funner topics where we could have done like Harry situation. Yeah, I'm never going to come back anymore. Harry's situations only come out when it's about like dating or love. I'm not going to come back ever. <gasps> How could Why? you do that? How could you say that to our listeners? As a, as a guest, but he's going to be a host. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, anyways. Uh, I felt like today I was one of the hosts. I actually got to lead. Yeah, yeah we, we felt good. purposely I let you it. do that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Because I hate leading. You purposely let me do it? Yeah. So oh. you can oh, know it what it feels like. almost felt like you were really lazy. No. Oh. So you can know what it feels like and you can have that yearning to come back. You know, oh, as really? a host. You know? I think it made him want to not come back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, haha. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you guys uh, for watching. And if you wish to watch the video version of this episode for free… Watch the full episode on youtube.com slash divepods. And once again, follow and view this podcast… Five stars only. And uh, thank you, Ashley and Peniel for coming out today. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. For sure. I loved it. For sure. All right. See you guys next week. All right. See you. Bye. 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 All right, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the other videos. We don't know where they're going to be. But it'll be on the screen somewhere.